Hi, you're welcome to Yoga and You, a series which is all about questions and answers. We have uh, our Hansa ji with us, who is the director of the Yoga Institute. Thank you so much, Hansa ji. Uh, let me straight dive into the next question. One has observed that more often than not, people are focusing on what would not work in their lives more than hoping for you know the positive things and wanting to uh, project what would work for them. So how does one really keep a control on this negative way of thinking? Well, understand one point very well that mind's job is to think. Mind is going to think. Now, if you direct your mind that think these, these, these things, then mind will go ahead. If you don't direct your mind, if mind is free, what will happen? You know now that free mind is devil's workshop. Mind is going to go negative because that's the best way mind would keep busy. So either mind will go in past or in future, worrying, worrying what will happen or past, this happened, that happened, how you suffered in life and so on so forth. You can't change your past. You don't know anything about future. You are supposed to remain in present. Now this little discipline we should always have. If anybody finds that mind is thinking negative, means he is free. He is not doing his work. He is not giving any work to his mind okay. because mind is free. So what you are supposed to do? First form a habit that whatever you are doing, keep your mind there and do. Because we are very clever. We think we can do 10 things at the same time. So what happens? You are eating and thinking about something. You are brushing and thinking about something. Now this disintegrated personality is going to create problem. So what you should be doing? When I am brushing, I should really attend to each and every tooth of mine. See to it that I take interest, keep purpose in mind that what, why am I brushing? To keep healthy. Now keep that in mind and brush well. Be completely I'm present to it. Completely say. present. Physically here, mentally somewhere, emotionally somewhere. Don't behave like that. We should be in present with holistically. Body, mind, emotion, intellect, everything should be present in the present tense. Now when this mind is there, then there are no chances to go negative. Now, okay, you have observed that mind has gone little negative. Immediately bring it back because negative mind is not creative mind. It is destructive mind. Mind functions in five different ways. One very logical way, what we call is praman, logic, scientific way of putting things across. But there are many things which are negative in scientific way. It can't be always positive. Second type of mind is very unscientific mind, just believes. Oh, don't go on this road, otherwise it would be a chaos. This road is known for accidents, it's accident prone road. No, Baba, don't talk like that unscientific mind, blind faith, absolutely blind faith, assumptions, these things have to be discouraged. Third type of mind is imaginary mind. You imagine, mm -hmm. here is a baby girl, now you start imagining uh, what will happen when she grows, how much money I will need, you just go on. I know one lawyer who got uh, married much later, maybe at the age of 55, he got married and on his marriage day, uh, we couldn't go, but then uh, after three, four days when we met him, we found that he was sitting absolutely morose, very worried, looking down, calculating something. We said, what has happened? Right now you are married four days before you, I, we've thought that you will be joyful and fine. He says, no, it looks like that things are so bad now in future. Now at this age, if I get a child, what will happen? Then education, studies, oh. child may not be so healthy because we are old. And his entire list was so oh. much that he says, I can't earn that much money now. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> about to retire and the worry and worry, nothing else. You imagine and you go down. You expect the worst already. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Why can't you think good? And I know that that lawyer died at the age of 70. Mm -hmm. He had no child or anything. Mm -hmm. But that time he was worrying. He had good time, 20 years with his wife. But no issues. That's the whole problem with us. We imagine. We add more deep impression of negativity. In sleep, when you dream also, impressions go deeper. 
Mm. Subconscious mind is active. So there you have to be careful. And then fifth is what you have experienced in life, memory. Mm. In your memory, you have many negative things happening in your life. So all those things are there with you. Somebody came, somebody, because of somebody you got cheated. Mm. You trusted him, but you were cheated. Now, whenever you would come in front of me, my mind would go negative. That here is a person mm. who, because of whom I suffered. Immediately, mind will go negative. And you have that opinion which is stuck in your head. Absolutely. So, we form opinions, we hold on to our past. Mm. We don't think that, okay, after you cheated, how much I have become smarter, how much I have progressed. Yeah. That we don't keep in mind. What we keep is, because of you, I suffered. Mm. So, we have to train our mind. Yogis say that human mind needs training. Otherwise, it is going to go negative. So, let's follow this path. Yoga talks about all these things. It that talks about vrittis, chitta and vrittis. Mm. You have to totally stop this negative thought because it is harmful. It is not creative. So, work on yourself and it would, everything would be fine. Thank you so much, Ansarji. Like you saw, it's in your hands to have your thinking guided by your own direction. Like she has given a lot of pointers on how you can keep a watch on your thoughts and uh, really have a shift from negative thinking to leading a lot more positive life. Thank you so much.